Today we're going to talk about the sanitize program on your washing machine. Now this program has many names. On some washers it's called sanitize, on others it's called antibacteria, hygiene setting or even allergy care or something along those lines. These are generally about the same on all washing machines. Uh, the main idea of this cycle is that it uses a lot of hot water and a lot of steam to pretty much remove any bacteria, dust mites, yeast, you name it, that can collect on your clothes. Now there is one thing I want to note right away here. You should make sure that your cycle is NSF certified if you need to use this uh, and it's very important to you. NSF is a independent uh, certifier or what we should say that uh, makes sure that this cycle actually remove 99.9% .9 of all bacteria. So as you can imagine there are two main uses for this. It's going to be people who suffer from allergies and also people that work uh, in hazardous areas are exposed to a lot of bacteria. You know think your if you're a nurse or you work in healthcare you're going to definitely want to use this cycle. Also if you are working with animals you know a kennel perhaps uh, you have a farm this cycle is going to be a great option for you to remove the bacteria. I would also say if you are just had babies and and uh, the babies uh, defecate, you know, bacteria there. That, that is a great example for something that you want to use this sanitize cycle for. Beyond that, uh, if you have underwear yourself or any other garments that have been in contact with a lot of bacteria, definitely the sanitize cycle is a great option here. Like I said, there is one more big use for this and that is uh, for allergies and sensitive skin. So since this cycle uses so much hot water and steam it really is able to penetrate deeply into these garments and make it adequately clean so you won't suffer from uh what's it called hay fever uh, if you're allergic to dust this will also remove all the dust and on top of that actually if you are somebody who has very sensitive skin and you suffer from something like eczema this is actually going to clean the clothes so much so that your uh, clothes won't be uh bothering your skin. And just a cool note there, uh, this will actually kill bad bugs too, so if you're living in uh, squalor, bad bugs will be uh, taken care of as well. So as you can probably imagine, uh, depending on what use case you have for this cycle, you want to use different detergents. So if you're using this to remove hazardous uh, bacteria and the like, you will want to use a strong detergent. We can talk a little bit about that afterwards, but I wanted to mention if you're using this because you suffer from allergies, something like a gentle detergent. I recently started recommending this one. I can add a link if you want to get this one in particular. They're very gentle detergent that will be good on your skin and also the allergies won't be a problem since your cycle will take care of that. So gentle detergent would be very appropriate. On the other hand, if you're working around pathogens and things that can be damaging to your health, you may want to use something stronger to kill off all the bacteria. So generally, if you watched my channel, I am a big fan of uh, distilled white vinegar. That's actually going to help even further kill off the bacteria. What you can do is put it into the fabric softener tray in place of the fabric softener. And if I would say about half a cup, 5% should do the trick. Also, you can try experimenting with using bleach. Just regular chlorine bleach should be fine. <laughs> just, of course, make sure that if you're going to use this on a color cloth, just be aware that bleach has a very whitening property to it. I have made videos about using both bleach and vinegar in the past. I can add some like little cards up here in the corner of the video that you should check out, especially with the bleach, as there are some big drawbacks to using bleach. Beyond that, there is also some sanitizing uh, products that you can use in place of both bleach and vinegar. Um, I don't have videos on that, but I can recommend some products and add it uh, in the video description of this video. That's also going to help take care of any uh, bacteria. If this is a big concern to you, really even both for allergies and for hygiene reasons, um, you should also wash your washing machine about once a month. I have done a video on that as well, but if you have a tub clean setting on your washing machine, that's going to be the best way to clean out the washer. I would also go over it with, by hand using a lot of vinegar in there. Again, I'm going to link videos. I have made videos about a lot of <laughs> washing topics, as you can imagine. If you don't have a sanitizing or allergy setting on your washing machine, you can kind of imitate it by turning the heat up significantly. And now, you're usually not going to get steam if you don't have steam functionality on your washing machine. 
but cranking the water up to at least 60 degrees celsius even up to 90 degrees celsius is going to help kill off all the bacteria if you use this in combination with either vinegar bleach or a cleaning product uh, a sanitizing product that is going to help significantly kill off bacteria as well. Now I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to kill out of 99.9% but it's going to help out significantly. The way that this cycle generally works is that first it uses the steam and the hot water to kill off the bacteria but this cycle also really rinses the clothes afterwards so it goes through multiple rinse cycles to get out all the remaining um, dirt and uh, product that you have used in the cycle. You could also consider using the dryer hair. If your dryer has a really hot uh, sanitizing program, that is a good way to go as well, as the dryer is very effective at uh, killing off bacteria as well. But there are some things to keep in mind when you're going to use this cycle. First of all, don't use it on your delicate garments. That includes wool, synthetic garments. Really, most clothes that is not either linen or cotton can't handle this. Also, you should always check the tags to make sure that they can handle the temperature you're going to put this cycle on as this it has some big drawbacks first of all it's just going to straight out damage the clothes if they can't handle the heat but beyond that there can be big problems with color bleeding uh, if you use these hot temperatures also shrinkage becomes a big problem especially if you're going to use the dryer on a high heat as well as the washing machine so be very aware of that so just use this on the clothes that actually need to be washed in the sanitized cycle also there is the cost now this is going to vary a little bit from washing machine to washing machine uh, some washing machines have like a little separate uh, compartment where it makes uh, steam this is generally way 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 less spendy when it comes to heating up the steam if the steam heats up in a regular way inside your washing machine that's going to use a lot more electricity just so you're aware of that i hope this video was helpful <laughs> i know it's a lot anyway i'm going to link some more videos here that i talked about earlier also I have a big playlist now on all the different washing machine settings if you want a free cheat sheet on how to save money when doing laundry you can sign up for the newsletter and i'll send it to you right away go to organizing.tv cheat sheet and uh, yeah i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next one